Here we have a dissected rat. At the top, we have salivary glands with two lymph nodes embedded inside. Inferior to that, we have a long hollow tube made up of cartilage rings called the trachea. Posterior to that, we have the long tube called the esophagus made up of smooth muscle. Inferior to that, we have an artery coming out of the heart called the aorta and two branches of that extending into the neck called the left and right common carotid. The heart right here and the lungs sitting on both sides of the heart, right and left lungs. Inferior to that, we have a major inspiratory muscle that helps us breathe, separating the thoracic and the abdominal cavity called the diaphragm. Below the diaphragm, we have a dense tissue called the liver, made up of many lobes. Inferior to the liver, we have an organ that typically is attached right underneath it called the gallbladder. And the rats actually do not have a gallbladder, whereas humans do. Here we have the stomach. The stomach is made up of a fundus, body, and the antrum that leads into the small intestine, which is the first part. And that is the duodenum. On the side of the stomach, we have an organ right here. That is called the spleen. It's attached to the stomach via the gastrosplenic ligament. There you have a little piece of tissue that doesn't really form the preservative, kind of breaks it down, called the pancreas. And the duodenum, once again. Here we have the second part of your small intestine called the jejunum. And you can see the mesentery with the mesenteric arteries inside, holding it all together. And the last part down here, this is uh, the cecum. So the small intestines make up the duodenum, jejunum, ileum, and then we have the cecum that separates the small from the large intestine. So extending after the cecum, we would have the large intestines, which go up, ascending, cross, transverse, and then down, descending, colon, and then eventually it goes into the sigmoid and the rectum. Uh, down at the bottom, we see two tubes. Don't confuse it with the intestines. These are the fallopian tubes. So this is a female. And at the back end of it, at the terminal side, we have ovaries attached to these fallopian tubes. Down at the bottom, we can see a little piece of tissue right here. This is the urinary bladder. And if we find the kidneys, which are those retroperitoneal organs sitting in the back, they look like kidney beans right here. You'll typically find a ureter connecting the kidney to the bladder. Let's see if we can find one. Sometimes you have to move the little bit of tissue. Here it is. Really tiny. This is the ureter connecting the bladder to the kidneys. 